Alright, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add all sorts of velocity to your Fortnite clips, just like you saw in the intro. And quickly before I actually get into it, I just want to say that over 60% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. And I also want to mention I just dropped the best editing pack for DaVinci Resolve and After Effects for editing your very own Fortnite montages. It is anything you'll ever need for editing your Fortnite highlights video at the low cost of $15. So if you want to check that out that will be the first link in the description and i also want to mention that my own website will be launching on april 21st and i'm going to be using the website as a platform for you guys to purchase editing packs for me purchase commission edits for me with client work that i could repost to the channel all that stuff so make sure to stay tuned for that all right guys so i am in a brand new davinci resolve project 1920 by 1080 like you guys can see just change your frame rate to 60 fps just so it's a lot easier to uh, follow along with me but the first thing we want to do is just get any sort of clip so for me i'm just going to maybe get this one here and we'll just get a second one just because honestly let's just get something like this i know i've used this clip a lot let's just drag in that one there uh as long as it's just like a 200 pump it should be fine yeah that one's perfectly good and then we're just going to use any song i know a lot of you guys were memeing on me last time for using stone cold and literally the pinned comment i pinned it because the guy's like oh you love using stone cold but yeah, I do like the song Stone Cold. I'm not going to use it in this video, though, because you guys were memeing on me a bit too hard and hurt my feelings. But uh, we're probably going to use the song Decals by Raren. It's a, it's an oldie but a goodie. Or honestly, if I have Yes Sir, I'll use that. Okay, I still have Yes Sir. Let's use Yes Sir, a little bit of a throwback. But uh, we're just going to rewind it just like this. And we are going to just trim it down on either side. And that should be fine. And like we can see, we have a beat right here. And we're going to actually just press M on our keyboard so we can mark that. Turn this down just a tiny bit. And then we could also put a marker on this beat right here. And we will trim that down right there. And all we got to do from there, what I'm pretty much going to be highlighting is velocity. And velocity is a super cool thing. It can take your Fortnite montages to the next level. And I thought that I would actually break it in depth and actually show you guys how to actually add different types of velocity to your Fortnite montages. So this first one, since we have a long drawn out pre-kill, like I showed you guys in the flow tutorial, how to have a good flow. We have a drawn out pre-kill. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to add slow-mo velocity to this. So we're actually just going to trim this down just a tiny bit. And this is where we're going to we're going to want to transition. So we're just going to trim that down to here, extend that out here and adding velocity in DaVinci is super easy. All you got to do is just right click on the actual clip, unlink it. We're going to right click on it again, go to read time controls, and we're actually just going to do the same velocity I've showed you guys a ton of times. So just add a speed point on the kill, go to where he fully edits the ramp so we can see what I always give an example is we can see there's a little bit of debris here from the ramp being edited. We want to go to the first frame that is completely clear of debris. We're going to add a speed point there. And then we're actually just going to split these in the middle. Change this to 50%. Change this one to 50%. Change this one to 200%. And then we're going to line this back up on the actual kill. And we should just do a bit of overlapping right there. Should be good. And just like that, we have velocity. And it's pretty simple to actually do. You can see it just as a slow-mo to an acceleration. If it's honestly not enough for you, you can just drag up the, the speed up a bit longer. Might be a bit too much though. Never a bad thing. But uh, that's one type of velocity. That's honestly or that's <laughs> that's honestly that's obviously the best type if you have a drawn out, it's a slow-mo pre-kill acceleration into a slow-mo post kill but uh, there's definitely different types of velocity you can do which i'm going to show you in the second clip right here we're just going to drag this over top just like that and we are actually just going to go like this and size it down to find our kill which isn't too far away it should just be towards the end right here and we're just going to find it hopefully right here which is this one and since this one isn't we don't really need a pre-kill slow-mo we're going to just right click, unlink it. Always, always, always unlink your clips. Please, whatever you do, unlink your clips before you add velocity or else it will make it, it'll make it sound super bad if you have the audio going slow motion and fast motion, just slowing down, speeding up. It's just the worst thing ever. A uh, keyframe right here, using this uh, thing right here, just make sure you're inside of your read time curve and city read time controls this time. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames back. Add another keyframe. You're gonna drag this up to 300. You're going to go one, two, three to the right, add a keyframe right here, drag this up to 150%, this little portion right here, 
and we're gonna drag the rest of it down to 60 just like this so it goes 300 150 down to 60 click on this point click on the easy ease part right here curve it out just like that and then we're gonna put our marker on the or er, playback head on the beat just so we can line this back up with the kill and we're just gonna extend it on either side and we can see this type of velocity is a lot different than the one that I showed you first so I'll show you what this one looks like it's just a nice slow-mo after the kill that has like a speed up and yeah just like that you pretty much have two different types of velocity I'll quickly show you how you can do a reverse velocity transition which is always super good to do uh, just compound the uh, clip once you've actually added velocity we're gonna go to the very end and we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we're going to cut this portion right here we're gonna go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we're gonna cut this portion right here we're gonna delete this one right here and then what we're gonna do and then what we're going to do is we're just going to press alt on our keyboard drag this out and put this part right after so it goes like this and this part repeats and we can see that it kind of does a stutter because it is a rep repeated segment of what this was so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this go to change clip speed and we're going to change this to negative 100 and what that'll do is it'll make it it'll make it do a nice little reverse right there but once you pair up a reverse velocity transition with a zoom out transition with your blur mo curves, it is super nice looking, I'm not gonna lie. I have a ton of transition presets in my edit pack that I just released. First link in the description if you guys wanna check that out right below the wizard link. But yeah, that's three different kinds of velocity. We got the slow-mo pre-kill velocity. We got the almost, it's like a numby type of velocity. It's some kind of the velocity that numby uses on post-kill slow-mo. There's no pre-kill slow-mo. And then we got the reverse velocity transition, but that's pretty much going to be it for the DaVinci Resolve segment. I have a way to preset Twixter velocity in my new edit pack, so if you want to check that out, $15 one-time price, and you get all the constant updates to the pack as well. But like I said, make sure to check out the edit pack, and I'm going to be moving on to the After Effects portion for you guys if you want to check out and stay for that. But like I said, I'm going to be moving on to the After Effects portion, so if you guys are going to stick around for that, I'll see you there. Alright guys, so I am in After Effects. I got two clips in here, which I'm going to be showing you how to add velocity to and then i also got the song in here yes sir by rarin uh by the way if you guys want a tutorial on my brand new edit style which is like kind of it's 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 a hard thing to explain but it's like a it's a super clean kind of hard impacts kind of vibe to it i'll link a couple of videos down below in the description if you want to check that out it's like my run it up stuff all that and if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to do the velocity and all that stuff let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to make a, a tutorial for that all we do is just drag in our song here we're going to mark out our first beat right here and all we got to do is for our first clip we're just going to actually use this one right here this is just a, a clip from mojo which is one of these zen comp players that i edit for and we're just going to line up the kill with the beat on the song just like this and i think for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a uh, drawn out slow-mo velocity once we've actually just trimmed it down just so it fits in the area we want to use we can see it goes like this yet it's a wall and it kind of looks plain this way you can see we, we we need a good velocity so for this i have a preset right here but i'm also going to break it down uh, so you guys know how to do it so i'm going to go and actually go into my presets just right here and i'm going to do this one just like this and then we line it up just like that and then i'm just going to change my frame rate to 60 on the twixter which is what i use for my velocity by the way so as far as my velocity goes i pretty much just have a 100 percent along the way and then right before the kill i'll quickly show you it's 100 percent right here and directly before the kill we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 23 frames before the kill it goes to 30 percent and then right before five frames before the kill it's 30 percent so it's a span right here and then on the kill i have it at 690 percent and then post kill two frames later we have it at 50 percent if you don't want to go through all the work and try to copy that i'll have my edit pack linked in the description it has a ton of presets for this it is definitely worth it in my opinion but uh just like that like you can see 
super clean velocity for uh, just slow down. And I'll actually just put up on the screen right now what it can look like if you add that velocity with effects. It can look super clean. I'm not going to lie. So make sure to check that out. That's how to do a slow down velocity. But uh, the next thing we're, I'm going to show you how to do, I'll have the preset for this one linked in the description, which is just a bit of a more of a highlights uh, velocity preset. We're actually just going to uh, find the next kill we're going to use right here. So this ops trying to put me on a t-shirt just like that. So I'll just trim this down right here. And then we're just going to actually find the kill in this clip right here, which is, I believe it's like a drop down 160 or something. 140. Okay. Right here. So then we're just going to add a marker right here, lined it up. And then we're actually just going to extend this out right here. Put this down right here. And then right here, we're actually just going to get our velocity preset. This one I'll have in the description, Joshi Velocity New. And then this one, just press U on your keyboard, line these keyframes up right here. And then we're going to turn off frame blending just because you don't really want frame blending. But what this preset does, I'll quickly show you just like a, just a drop down pump, nice little acceleration. And it's nothing insanely difficult. It's just you do that, boom, pumped in the head. And it, it honestly looks a lot better. The slow mo preset that I use is so fire for like any clip in creative. I'll just show you just the difference between the two. Just change that to 60. And then just look at this right here. I keep on pressing save on my keyboard accidentally. Like, look at that. Mm, such a nice difference, bro. Um, but you can use the other one that I'll have linked in the description. This preset will be in my uh, edit pack or if you just wanted to copy the instructions I had earlier. But as far as reverse velocity transitions go, you're just going to want to go to the end of your clip. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames back, 15 frames. Keyframe your speed, add whatever it is. If it's at 50, then just keyframe it at that. Go to the very end and keyframe it at negative 100. And what that'll do, I keep on, like I have muscle memory on automatically saving things. Just select the keyframes, press F9 on your keyboard. I just press uh, Alt F9 on my keyboard, which is what uh, actually, which is what uh, easy eases it. And then we're just going to go in our graph editor and copy this graph right here. And then that just does a nice little reverse transition just like this and if you actually pair it with one of the uh i have transition presets that i have used in other previous videos i'll actually just put one in the description but if you want a ton of other things i plug my edit pack so much but trust me guys when i say that it is worth it it is worth it like i don't know of any other editing packs that has what this pack has in terms of highlights and over edit montages but look if you just put on one of the presets i have in right here look at look at what it does it's just super clean man but i'll, I'll just put a basic zoom out transition uh, in the description for you guys to check out but yeah that's pretty much how to actually add velocity guys i hope you guys did learn something new from this video man but uh if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe give me some uh, recommendations down below in the comments if you have something specific you want to see i know i've seen some people say they want to see a shockwave tutorial like one of the yarn effects so i'll be sure to do that in davinci resolve and after effects if you guys did enjoy though like comment subscribe like i just said pick up the edit pack and also download wizard man it's definitely a really good app it allows you to connect with other users on the app make sure to drop me a follow or else you're fake to be honest but uh yeah like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in a new video peace out